Now then, I want 15 shillings again. <laughs> Down. 15, I bid 15, 15, 15, 15 shillings. That's 15. 16, is it? That's 15 shillings. 15 shillings. <laughs> Is the ring large enough for the... Okay. Now then, a bottle of nine, 1916 John Haig. Yeah. That's about 120% overproof compared with the 30% we get today. Somebody going to give me five pounds for it? One. One. Ten. Two. Three. Three pounds. Now then, I want you just to pretend that this hasn't been sold and we're going to... And you can bid in pounds because you haven't... And, uh, how much? Five shillings, Bill? Uh, One pound, thank you very much. Uh, two pounds? we have got three pounds here. Uh, it look, it's worth more than four. Four pounds fifteen. Four pounds fifteen. Five pounds. Five pounds. Down, going down, at down. five pounds. Slap it. Go, going, going. Gone! <laughs> they wanted it down for the 15 <laughs> On this day in the town of Dis in Norfolk, the agricultural heartland of England, we acknowledge the heritage of land and empire our forebears have handed down to us. But it is not upon the past that our thoughts dwell on this day of solemn reunion, but upon the future, the future with its boundless possibilities for all mankind. We believe that from a worldwide unity of British peoples will come a force for peace, tolerance and justice, which by its insistent challenge will silence the forces of oppression. We resolve, therefore, to dedicate ourselves to ensure that the soil of our island shall be used to sustain the life of our motherland. We resolve that the vast empire lands across the seas shall be transformed with our help into places where all men, regardless of color or creed, shall be uplifted to common citizenship and so enjoy the moral and spiritual standards for which we have all fought. And sustained by our belief, we pledge ourselves to struggle ceaselessly until all the peoples of our land and empire have a decent and secure standard of life, until they may lift up their heads and say, this is the land for our sons. <laughs>